Hello, my name is William. I'm back with Fallout 4 and I'm back with Allison today. And we are going to do some a few quests today. Oh, we gotta do dangerous mines because we wanna get into the institute. Um, and ooh. I want to get into the Institute before I do Far Harbor. Um, Uber Mutants, listen to Jake's private stream, see yada yada yada. Okay. Alright, let's go to Good Neighbor. I haven't been to Good Neighbor yet. Okay, let's go to Park Street Station and head over to Good Neighbor. Hope you're all having a good evening. Well, it's evening for me. I should kind of explain. Um, uh, th there are several weeks worth of episodes ahead of this one. I don't mean Allison episodes, but Fallout 4 episodes. Um, I'm trying to get going with this um, as um, as we got uh, Fallout London coming which of course won't look as good as Allison does Ammo uh, caps whatever you find don't forget to share Oh, dog me. I almost shot you, buddy. Um, alright, let's go. Trying to make our way to Good Neighbor, which is right here. And unfortunately, I'm on the wrong side. I don't want to jump over. Oh, you can jump over. But since I'm doing modded playthrough... Okay, this is not working. Um... Let's go back out down here this way. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, there we go. Okay. This settler didn't make it. Uh. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Um. Uh... Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, whoa. Hey, Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're asking his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Dick. Huh? What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. Soft head cock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. No. Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, sister? I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your. I like Hancock. Me. He's one Good of my favorites. Of the people for the people. What? You Nick too. Me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you will be part of the neighborhood. Oh, I forgot so I got Kate with remember. me. She hates everybody and everything. Actually, I'm in charge. You just don't know it yet. Hi, Kate. Oh, Kate. I've got to get Kate out of that outfit. 
Where's Heather? Where the hell is Heather? Oh, damn it. Um, okay, hold on. Let's find... Let's get Heather over here. Uh, uh, where... Okay, I haven't dressed them in anything. Ooh. Okay, um... We're gonna do the episode, and then I'm gonna figure out what I can outfit them in. Um, and then I'll come back after that and show you. Um, I'm not gonna spend... But it takes a long time for me to do that sometimes. Uh, do I have anything to sell? Uh, not really. Okay, let's go. Who's this guy? Dr. Cell. Let's talk to Dr. Cell. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee. Any news out there, Doctor? Got nothing. Sorry. Just trying to practice medicine. Okay. Not now. Not interested. Fine. Dr. Cell. I don't remember seeing Dr. Cell. Alright, first, before we do anything, let's go over and... And um, get the uh, Red, the companion magazine. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again? Or are you actually going to go down right and do here. some work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about where's, sampling uh, those chems. Uh, where's Fred? Maybe if you stop. I mean, not Fred. Where's the uh, what? Where's the that? fun in cooking if you ain't yes. using it? My mistake. Hey, Rufus. Hey there. Your new round good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What do you think of the place? It's changed a lot since the last time I was here. Been here before? Well, good neighbors definitely come up in the past few years. Mostly since Hancock took over. Name's Rufus. I do repairs around here. Keep the robots running, sell a bit of scrap, that sort of thing. I'm usually here or drinking that swill Charlie slinging at the third rail. Looking for parts? I also might have a job for you if you're interested. What's the job? Don't know if you've had the beer down at the third rail, but I swear Charlie must have found it in a sewer. Found this hollow tape while doing repairs at the Rexford. Delivery notice for a brewing machine. Pre-war. Thing is, it was never delivered. But with all the bombs and all, does some asking around. I think it might still be intact, which is where you come in. I'm in. Let's do it. Great. So, the brewing machine is in the basement of an old bar called the Shamrock Tap House. Which when you is leave four tip, raiders. Make your way around east till you hit Atlantic. Great big grain sign. Bring it back here when you're done. All right. Well, well I might, I might keep him this time. We'll do that eventually, Here, but maybe not this. today. Oh, I'll it's take on it. Me. You'll like it. Trust me. May as well take a look. All right, let's go. Hey, Daisy. Glad you can. How's my favorite girl? Uh, basement apartment. Wait a minute. All right, all right. Uh, hold on. Hey, buddy. That's right. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, I apparently discovered a basement apartment. The down. Oh. We just might do this. We got killed off. Thanks to you. And so many sins. Justice will be served. All right. Uh. Okay, hold on. Is that on the map? Let's fast. I just want to. What's telling me it's the memory den is the basement apartment. Oh, it's right here. I don't know. 
Oh, that's the warehouse. It must be this one. Let's go in here. Let's see what the hell. This must be. Was this my apartment? Or are there raiders in here? Oh, this is ugly. But, but it is a cat. Hey, cat. Uh, there's nothing in here. Uh, I don't. Oh, I'm not gonna activate the fuse box. Uh, oh, we got benches, weapons. Armor. See if there's a chem station or something. There's a chem station. This is what my current home looked like when I first moved in. Except it was a lot smaller than this. Okay, you know what? Shut up. Um, Alright, we're leaving. We got a mission. That must be a settlement because I could fast travel to it. Which means I might be able to build in it. I don't know. You know, like whole plate. Uh, I always expect a Brahmin to say moo, moo when I walk by, you know? One moo per head. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Oh, did we go grab the... Oh dear, I need to go do some settlement stuff, don't I? <laughs> All right, I'll do that off screen probably. Um... All right, whatever. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I hey, Deacon. have forgotten about the zombie. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. He's a big flirt. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Nice job. Um, although, not a big fan of the outfit. Uh, not review. Oh, I'll say, never mind. Sorry. I just love this Dickies. This Dickies ensemble is so awesome. Um, Doctor Amari. Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let Dick do it. <laughs> his, his this response. one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not gonna be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Cold on the Inside floor. the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model synth. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. 
We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. Oh, I appreciate this, Nick. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. Oh, we're gonna right. find him. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Then I'm gonna go get Virgil. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me and out. We'll go okay? kill, kill a corsair. Let's see you. And then we'll probably end the episode. Need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change oh, in your you know cognitive what? functions? Oh, well, you know what? we're doing that. Are you feeling any different? A lot of nice flashes. Even that's worth our time. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. I'll grab this other stuff. The mnemonic there. impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's do it. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. And keep your fingers crossed. Okay, folks. Um, See you on the other I've side. I've done this so many times. Um, and if anybody who's watched my channel has probably seen it at least once or twice. Uh, and I want to get moving here. So you don't have to. If you want to learn a lot of Kellogg's backstory. Initiating brainwave um, migration between the transplant and the host. You can. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. Look, get all his thoughts and everything. Because um, that's what find. this is. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you so, hear me? Ah, oh, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Now. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Now, I'm just gonna run through this because you don't have to listen to this. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Kellogg's daughter. Try that one. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. All right. This is Kellogg. After they killed How did his you wife think and daughter. This was going to end Kellogg. I found another memory to try. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Sorry it's so dark that I, you know, I don't have any control over that. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. We're about done here. Mr. Hello. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. Sorry. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Uh, ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting well, we all know this one, don't we? Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. Here I am. Both hey, computers me. are still working. That's good. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. And here we are at the end. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. So now we wait. <laughs> 
Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. Remember that At, uh, Allison New is my Minutemen. One of our scientists has left um, the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Oh, by the way, the shadow you're seeing right here, that's me. Uh, X688. I don't know why it's Ready to relay with Sean. so weird when it passed. Mr. Kellogg, I hope I see you again soon. Anyway, whatever. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Well, that's a quick way through. No movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Uh. We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. Um... Well, this is the what this is the standard answer right here. But this sound, this would sound so much better. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea for a reason. Um uh, uh, See in this game uh, I'll find a way to get through the reds. Because of the Don't NACX weather. And be safe. By the way, um, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. I we may not be able to get. We're waking up. I may not be able to stuff. actually. Looks like you were having a tough time in this memory pod. Do this. You got a second. Feeling okay. I got some. Oh, what's up, Kate? Did, did, did you want to talk, Kate? Hey. Yeah? Hey, you have time to talk now. Still have something important to say. Of course. What's on your mind? Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. 
there is no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. <sighs> oh, that's a terrible response. Uh, uh, uh. It would be nice to know more about you. You're saying that now, but when you hear me story, you might regret it. It all starts with two ways of humanity, I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Eighteen years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Oh. Let's do this one. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to this story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of my goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. Yeah, one's okay. Don't tell me your story gets worse. Much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy my own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Uh, Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl? I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate, stripped bare for your perusal. Well, this is this is a good answer. I, I'm gonna go with the good answer. Hey, I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. I think both but those I never answers would have been you worse. To say you were proud of me. I. I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. Um. I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you could say that would ever change that. Oh, uh, I, well, that's, that's not what I expected you to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me, and I'll always be there for you, too. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Too much talking. All right, let's go get Nick. Um, oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Um, did I craft? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, we're going to have to... Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Nick, are you still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. 
Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Uh... Ashley, I think we're gonna take Nick, but we gotta do it the I'll right way. I'll see you way. around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Holy fuck. Do you think some part of Kellogg might be alive inside Valentine? All right, we're gonna find out. Uh, do I have any guns I can give Nick? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I do not. We'll, we'll get something for Nick. Um, now, Let's see. I have 520 radiation protection. Uh, well, and Got additional forty radiation resistance. And you know what? Just in case we'll do a little couple levels of the ghoulish part. Um alright, let's go see if we could get to Virgil. But we're going to probably do it the ch slightly cheaty way. Um, Can't believe it. You look just like Sammy too. Alright. Um, go to because we need it for Heather. We are going to go to um, the creator of Adam. Yeah. And if we got a... Alright. Um, let's go with You could go talk to them, but eh. Uh, we want the Rocky Cave. We're just gonna simplify this a little bit. See, if I get a rad storm while I'm in here, then I probably won't have enough radiation protection. Alright, let's go, let's talk to Virg Virgil. Take it easy. Kellogg's dead. Dead? He's dead. Don't you lie to me. I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty work for so many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? 
What do you want? Um. Can you tell me anything about the Institute? I need to get in there. Can I? Are you joking? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? Would you believe the Institute kidnapped my son? Oh, yeah. I'd... I'd believe that. Wouldn't be the first time. Look, I'm sorry. Really sorry. Now I'm gonna cry. This is... Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth uh. in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. You help me. And I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum Excuse to reverse me. this mutation. A little tired. It could return me to normal. You understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right? Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? No, never heard of him. Another secret of the Institute. Trust me, it's good that you haven't found out Excuse the me, hard sorry. way. Coursers are Institute synths, designed <laughs> for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now, I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. Sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You are going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay. Let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now. The relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. Oh, excuse me. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune it to the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, Ooh, and it'll the lead light you to a courser. From? Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. 
He turned himself into a super mutant on purpose. You have to think he knows what he's talking about if he's smart enough to do that. Shortcut. <sighs> okay. Now, course or frequency. Alright. Now, there's two ways you could go. You could go that way and that's got raiders and frag mines and all kinds of things or you can go all the way around the uh, water here and you only got like one mire to deal with It's usually one mile to deal with. There he is. Just walk away. Oh, another one. That was interesting. Okay. Nick, what do you got? He's got a laser pistol. Okay, well, that's good. He's got some. Hey, Valentine. Thanks. We would never have found Kellogg without you. You know, you're not so bad for a simp. Well, thanks. <sighs> All right. Now, welcome to the giant rocket ship. Okay. First, turn that off. Second, uh, yeah, let's just stick with the Desert Eagle. do too much looting. Um, I don't really need to.
Get out of the way. Oh. Did I just shoot the rocket out of her head? The uh, launcher out of her head? That's cool. I like that. Hope that comes out in the video. Actually, wait a minute. Fight me. Stupid. Freaking. Worse than archers. Oh. Okay. Oh. Actually, take that too. Oh, hello. Eh. We've lost contact with sectors two and four. So it takes jet fuel. Uh, you know, if there was any research being done on aliens before the war, it'd be in a place like this. Let's go. I ain't got time to wait. You ever read comic books? Yes. I love them. Captain Cosmos. Lock and low! You look at this sorry sack of skin. You know what? This is, this is this is really irritating. All right. Come out and face us, scallywag! Yeah. You in here? Whoa, whoa. Come on, Ash. You hear that? Where, where are they, Kate? Oh, Kate. 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 You know, the detective life is a lot less glamorous than the comics have led me to believe. Uh. Oh, wait a minute, I just... Uh, I went, I took a wrong turn. Hold on. I took a wrong turn. Who's a good boy? Uh, I want the Molotov. Thank you. Go, Nick. Good job, buddy. All right, let's go. Oh, the girl. 
Anyone alive needs to get up to the top floor immediately. That's an order! Uh. <gasps> I forgot about this, but just so you know, if you have Sneak leveled out, if you have Sneak um, maxed out, you can miss those and not die. I did think there might be some kind of alien research facility in here. Good So much technology like this one lost after the war. Civilization may not have your noodles it keeps you buzzing for days i once ran from bunker hill to covenant in under two minutes you gotta be kidding me codsworth codsworth that's worth. There's a couple of fusion cores in there you can grab. Get over here. I'm coming, you bastard. Are you here for the scent? I'm here to pick up an order. Two large pepperoni and a calzone. Name is Fuck You. If you're not here for the scent, then <laughs> you're here for me. What do you want? I'm here to kill you and take what's inside your head. That you cannot have. What have we here? Regenerating, look at him. He's trying to regenerate. Heather, shoot him. There, Heather killed him. He's here, that's that your... Forcer must have been defective. No way they go down that easy. Um, eh. Let's get the password, which is right in here. I'll leave the fat man, don't really care.
<clears throat> Thank you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. My institute designation is K-198, but I prefer Jenny, so yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser. I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. No. I think I would have lost him, too. The thing about Jenny by these mercenaries. is, don't quote me I here, this happened. Thanks again but for I help. think you can run into her again in Far Harbor. Out. And before you ask, no. I don't need um, any more help. I could swear I run into her in Far Harbor. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we anyway. can under better circumstances. I hope we do. All right, should we should we get the heck out of here? Well, We all here? Yes, we are. Okay. All right. Um, well, we go do. I'm not going to do the railroad this time. I'm going to get back to Sanctuary. So, yeah, I might get back to Red Rocket, I think. Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. Amazing. Reason how much money these old corporations threw away building crazy shite like this. Yeah, crazy shite. Um. Well, we go and we're gonna build Kate and and Heather new outfits. Um. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Can we go to? Yes, we can. Let's go to Red Rocket, and that's where I'm going to sign off. And build them, build their new outfits, and try to make them different than other outfits that I have um, done in the past. Okay, what? What is Nick? What is going on with Nick? Um, Oh, talk to Nick. Is this okay? Nick. Go ahead. Uh. I wanted to ask you about something else. What's the plan? I hardly broke a sweat kicking their asses. You're one hell of a partner. At this rate, we're going to have to put your name up on signs for the agency. All right. I forgot. That's for the Andrews Station thing we did in the last episode, which you, of course, haven't seen, as I'm saying this. Oh, okay. All right. We are going to... What, dog? Uh... Good dog. Yep. And he picked it up. Oh. He packed up a hard hat. Okay. Um, we are going to go around the corner. Whoa. That's that's real loot. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go here. I suppose that's something worth building. Whatever it is. Um. Um, uh, I am so tired today. Uh, change corsets. Uh, 
Don't offer any protection. Oh, I don't know if this is the right. Anyway, I'm just looking. Anyway, that's all for now. Um, I'll be back with more uh, from Allison in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to get some costumes, some uh, outfits for him. And I'll come right back. Anyway, take care. And my name is William. My channel is I Suck at Video Game 666. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Come back, watch some more Fallout 4, watch some Last of Us, watch other games that I'm going to have, and have a laugh at my expense. Scream at me saying, why in the hell didn't we do that? You know, look, that's all good stuff. Anyway, take care and have a good evening. Good night. And God bless. Welcome back. Uh, it's been about 15 minutes. Um, as you can see, I've changed outfits for Heather and and Kate. They are both in Vita outfit number eight collection. Kate is in Eris um, with Eris accessories. Heather is in the casual outfit from the VTOL 8 collection. I think they look great, and that's all I'm going to do. And if you want to see more, come on back. It's going to get interesting. Take care, and good night.